Holly from our YouTube community wants to know what current 4K HDR camera supports 4K HDR ProRes RAW for Atomos Shogun 7 and Ninja V. First, I want to go into something that's real important, and this is something that uh, I felt all along from demos early on with the Atomos days, but HDR is super important. And when you let the average person look at a properly tuned monitor that has HDR, they will actually oftentimes with sports or a movie say that they like watching the HDR, HD footage looks better to them than 4K SDR, standard definition range. So high definition range is when we actually open up the camera to give you a range of color that's more like the way the human eye perceives it. When you look out at a sailboat on a lake and the sun's out and things are twinkling, your eye sees everything. It understands some things are twinkly, some things are shadow, some things are brighter, some things are darker. With standard definition range cameras and video gear, you tend to have one of two things. Either you wash out the image because of the bright stuff, or you tone down the bright stuff so much that everything else becomes dark. So high dynamic range is a real important thing. And what the folks at Atomos have done is they've unlocked high dynamic range and 4K with this ProRes RAW technology, which of course means Apple if it's ProRes. And what that gives you is a super high quality HDR 4K signal. It's, it's spinal tap, it's turning it up to 11. And for those workflows, you're just gonna get superior camera results, superior video, superior video grading if you're going in through something like DaVinci Resolve. And I just wanted to say at this point, it's not a novelty of a couple of cameras. Nikon's got their Z6 and 7. Sony, we can bring this up full screen if you want, because I'm just gonna read it off. Sony's got their F55s and their FS7s. Uh, Canon's got the C300, the C500, and C700. Panasonic's got the EVA1 and their Vericams, and there's more and more coming also at IBC, Adobe and Avid jumped on the ProRes RAW editing bandwagon. And at NAB, I expect to see almost every NLE in the market supported. So ProRes RAW, Atomos has been above the, has been ahead of the curve on ProRes RAW. They're leading the way. They've been leading the way with HDR. And if you've got a Ninja V or a Shogun 7, or you're thinking about getting one of these cameras that are listed, they're a match made in heaven. In fact, I would honestly say, if you're going to buy one of these cameras on this list and you're not going to buy a Ninja V or a Shogun 7, you're doing yourself a disservice because that's how you can unlock the best quality video possible from those cameras. So